Right. Okay, welcome to the final part of this tutorial, uh, about six years in the making apparently. Um, so this is to basically finish off this rig, which I never really did finish, um, since I have a lot of people who appreciate this rig and uh, want to have the final stage, I have decided it's, uh, I should do this. Anyway, a um, uh, big thing to notice, I'm using Maya 2016, um, which has a significantly different interface to the rest of Maya. Um, so do play along, hopefully you can uh, follow along no problem. So I'm going to be making some adjustments to this rig because it's not up to what I call my uh, standard these days, um, but uh, simple changes and uh, they won't take you too long to fix up. So basically the rig at the moment um, uh, is not very adequate, uh, there's some very funky deformation stuff going on and things not deforming in a particular way that you, I would uh, appreciate it. So when you twist and we'll do to rotate Y on these controllers here, for example, you get the varying results that uh, is not ideal. And primarily when you rotate the main controller on the ground, it's it's bad. Okay, so let's uh, resolve these issues uh, once and for all. Okay, so it's going to delete the animations that's sitting on here at the moment. So delete all by type, channels. And we're going to have a look at the scene, see what we can look at. So essentially down here, I've got my main controller. And I've got my spine okay. I've got a couple of um, strains on here which I'm going to get rid of because that sucks. And we're going to look at using a different method to manipulate the position of that spine okay. Primarily, we're going to basically uh, skin that spine curve to two brand new bones. So I am going to turn off the polygon display and enable the skeleton. And let's go ahead and create a new joint for this process. So going to change to the rigging menu and uh, under skeleton choose create joints and just slap it down there it's very small control A and we're just going to uh, change its draw radius to 5 uh, perhaps 10 is more awesome and then uh, do maple overrides and I'm just going to change its color override so something that's a little bit more white there we go and let's give it a name J, J underscore lower uh, control should do and I'm just going to V snap that up to the hips here which is the base of the um, uh, spine or spline duplicate that guy V snap it up to the chest control area up here and then I'm going to rename that guy Call that upper UPR. And it gives us two joints that we're interested in. So next, I'm just going to grab the two joints and then the spine IK, and then going up to the skin. I'm going to use bind skin, but I'm just going to go to the option box here, and we're going to change some of the options here. So just go edit and go reset settings. Um, essentially, what we want to change it to uh, under the standard settings is joint hierarchy to select the joints and then hit apply close that so anyway you can now then select this special little controller I've generated here and you can use it to manipulate the position of all of the joints under the control of that spline IK solution so that's all kind of cool so we're going to reorder the controllers here so what I'm going to do is going to remove the chest control from the hierarchy uh, and the hip control there so it becomes uh, independent of the hip control itself. I will make a separate controller for this in a second. Okay, so what we're going to do is just check to see what's happening now. So if I grab this guy and twist it, it's twisting up here. If I grab this guy, it's rolling down here. So if it's all manipulated through the spine IK, so set the spine IK from the outliner. I'll go to the window node editor and I will map the input connections on that and it will show me the incoming connections so I'll put through on the keyboard and you can see how I have roll and twist attributes uh, plugged by the chest control and the hip control um, and the rotate Y attributes respectively so we are going to look at how this all works so basically the hip control is basically plugged into the roll which enables it to uh, have this behavior as you can see there and if you grab the um, uh, chest control, you can see how the twist is enabling that behavior. Uh, however, if you grab the uh, hip control and rotate it, you can see how it is 
uh, feeding back through up into the um, up the uh, bone hierarchy there. Uh, you would expect that when you twist the hip control that it maintains its position because this is fixed. There's no longer inside that hierarchy. So we need to do something about that. That's relatively easy to uh, fix up. So what we're going to do is we're going to basically uh, multiply the output of this hip control by negative one and then do add double linear, combine the two and then put it into the twist. So I'm just going to hit tab and I'm going to type first and foremost uh, multiply divide like so and then I'm going to take the expand that, expand that guy, hit the rotate y and plug it into the I need to expand that rotate y, plug it into the input y. The unit conversion, that's fine. Double click this guy, or control A, and what we're going to do is we're going to multiply it by negative one which basically reverse that value. Cool, so now we've got that going on, so let's pull it over here. So now I'm going to get a new node, we'll add double linear, so press and tab again, add double linear, okay, expand that open, so I'm going to take the output Y and chuck it straight into the input here. Get another unit conversion, thanks Maya for doing that all of the time. And I'm going to take this uh, rotate Y and chuck that into the input two. And then I'm going to take the output and just plug that straight into the twist. Okay, so if I grab this, it should still twist. If I grab this guy and move it, you can see now we've got a complete independent movement of the hips. The chest is completely independent from the hips itself, so we're all good to go now. So it's nice. Okay, so you see it's not moving with it at the moment. Um, it's because I just need to move things around the hierarchy here. So we've got the two joints I created earlier. Um, basically I'm just going to move these guys into the hierarchy here. I'm just going to move a mouse drag that in. So here we go. So lower control is going to go into the hip control here and the upper control is going to go into the chest control here. So when I grab it, I think she will move it around as expected. Cool. Rotate that, yep, rotate that, nice, okay, next. Right, so I'm going to create a new um, controller, it's going to be the uh, joint controller for controlling the position and orientation of the chest and hip controller, um, <coughs> I'm going to just call it a torso controller, so what I'm going to do is create a square on the ground, and so to do so I'm just going to change to the modeling toolkit, go to the uh, create and then go choose the curve tools and choose EP curve tools but go to the options and just make sure it's uh, switched from cubic to linear because uh, basically what I'm going to do is I'm just going to draw a uh, three sides of the square so holding down X to snap to the grid drop points out like so W and you can go a three sided square and if you go to the uh, I don't know, curves here and just go and choose close uh, wherever you are and we'll finish off this particular uh, job like that. So I'm going to v-snap that up here and I'm just going to scale a little bit. This is going to become my main uh, control for the uh, torso, so I'm going to call it torso uh, control yep. and uh, just edit just going to the history and then oh, I should have frozen transforms first. Whatever. I don't care. Right, that's good enough. And drag that inside the main control here and drag my hip and chest controls and with the torso control. So then I have a controller that basically moves everything around. Like so, but I still have the independent hip and chest controls. So when I rotate this control, however, you can see how the rotator is not being fed up the chain at all. So this is primarily a roll problem here, if I do think I'm correct. So what I'm going to do is open up node editor and I want to add this rotate y value into the roll of the IK handle and hopefully that will solve all our problems. So let's minimize that guy two and this control one and I want to grab I'm going to drag my torso controller here 
Uh, all the way down here, of course. Thank you very much, Mayor. And, uh, do, 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 do. okay. So, let's try it. I'm going to add double linear now to tab, add double linear. Expand that out. Take the rotate Y into input 1. Take the rotate Y of this guy into input 2. And then I'm going to take the output and replace the roll in here. So let's see if we get the result we want. Here we go. Nice. And finally what we want to do is include this main controller on the ground here, which rotates everything around. You can also see how uh, this is not rotating the match as well. So what I want to do is also add that rotate Y value in this guy to the roll attribute of the IK handle here too. So I'm going to middle mouse drag that into the scene as well. Let's bring it up here. So we're going to have a mess of spaghetti here now. So let's move this up. The conversion is putting in the right spot. Alright, so basically I'm going to add these two outputs together. So I'm going to add double linear again. Actually, I'll add it further down here. So, put the order, order right. I'm going to add it in here. So, preceding the actual plug here. Right, so we're going to add double linear. And for to expand that business, and then we're going to just take the output of this guy and put one. And I'm just going to take the rotate y value of this guy and to put two. And then plug the output into input two, one. There we go. And that should be it. Let's see. Okay, sweet. As you can see, ring is good, rotating around as you expect. Not quite. That's not quite working. Well, that's okay. Um, anyway, I will probably redo these tutorials completely anyway in the near future because uh, I'm no longer that happy with them. Uh, but for you out there who have been following these tutorials and got to the last stage and found that they were incomplete, uh, this will uh, help you out there get that fixed up. But I do encourage you to try and resolve your problems yourself as part of the learning process um, and also there are more than one way to do these kinds of rigs so this may not be the right rig for you. But as you can see it's a pretty good result. Um, okay. Just checking the rotates here. Sweet. Okay, so that's how you do that, and um, yeah, it's a pretty simple solution to finishing off that rig, and I uh, uh, hope and I can go ahead and do some brand new tutorials very soon, uh, some very complicated tutorials coming uh, involving Python scripting and building your own tools. Uh, I do have a Patreon uh, launch now um, in an effort to... Um, um, get some support from you guys out there so I can continue to do these tutorials and, uh, and a little bit of, uh, of a living from doing this. Um, so if you do uh, get something from these tutorials please contribute and I'll continue to do more tutorials in the near future. So uh, thank you for uh, watching these videos and I will um, talk to you all again soon. Thank you.